hello welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to see how we can use uh, the amazon's um, or aws forecast um, service that they are providing so aws forecast service is uh, nothing but uh, a time series model uh, training platform that is um, automated ml or auto ml um, where we can just pass in the data and it will just train the model and um, just um, give us our uh, trained model that we can directly deploy um, in AWS. So the entire process is kind of uh, automated in a fashion that makes it easier um, to uh, train such models. Now we are going to see how we can use this uh, model. So in this video, I'm just going to cover the basic of um, how you can do it um, manually uh, uh, through code and through the UI part. So um, then once we cover that, I will also show you how to um, inference uh, from that particular model into our code. And um, in the next video, what we'll be doing is that we will be actually integrating it within an app and uh, using that entire um, MLOps pipeline um, to um, uh, use the deployed model and retrain if required and model all the model versioning as well. So first let us uh, look at the data set. So for this particular um, project, I have chosen this customer shopping retail sales data. So if you see it, uh, the data which is having, it's just um, has the invoice number, customer ID, um, gender, age, category, quantity, price, payment method, invoice date and shopping mall. So these are all the different features it has and we are just mainly focused on the uh, quantity um, and uh, the category with uh, within which that particular um, uh, item falls and also um, when was it actually purchased as well so these are the three main features we are going to really um, look for so we have just downloaded it from the Kaggle website so you can also just download using the uh, download button and once you download it um, you can just import it um, into your code um, using the pandas. So once you download it, you will have this CSV file. You can just um, import it using pd.read CSV file. And again, if you just print the first five rows, um, this is the data that you are going to get. So um, once we get the data, now we have to process the data to only extract the required columns. So for this, what we are doing is that we are um, looking for the invoice date and converting it into the required format. And then we are also looking at the sales uh, where we are actually looking at the quantity into price and then uh, calculating what is the total sale volume um, that has happened in that particular day. Then we categorize uh, or group by each category. So for each clothing in a particular day, how much was the total value of sales that had actually happened. Now, after uh, grouping it, uh, we mainly have the item ID uh, field that is nothing but the category field for each day and the date of purchase and the target value um, uh, of that particular day. So this is the format in which um, we are going to have our um, data frame and we are just doing um, converting it into a daytime format as well before exporting. And then we just export it to um, a different CSV called as um, target time series CSV. And again, if you just print the first five rows of the target or forecast um, uh, data frame, it looks like this. So let us say for the book uh, um, or category of books, which we are calling it as item ID here. So for a uh, given book um, category uh, on this particular day, this was the amount of sales that has happened. And likewise, we have it for um, different days for books and then other, other categories as well. Now we just check uh, whether there are any missing values or not uh, before moving it uh, with setting up the um, auto ml part and uh, before that also i have just uh, added a part of code here where you can upload this particular csv file um, onto the s3 bucket as well um, um, the main reason for us to do is that whenever we are loading the data in AWS, right? So they always prefer uh, S3 um, uh, data set and prefer to store all the data in uh, S3. So I'm just giving you this uh, piece of code to help you know how to actually um, upload a particular file onto the S3 through code uh, using the uh, Amazon's Boto3 library. 
now after you again just upload the code or um, upload the particular csv file onto the s3 then we actually move on to setting up um, this particular uh, uh, training part so for that you need to uh, go to the aws and then in the aws you just have to um, set up a domain so uh, or uh, after going to aws and logging into your particular console you will have to look for sagemaker ai so once you go into amazon sagemaker ai you just have to go into the domains part and create a new domain so it's a very simple process of creating a domain so it will you can just use the quick setup um, option that they have provided um, for a particular user and set it up so if you see i have already set up that entire quick domain so once you set up the quick domain next what you will have to do is that you will go into the user profile and um, create a new user profile and um, in there also uh, when setting up the user profile you just have to make sure one thing uh, just go to the canvas configuration then uh, make sure it's a system managed um, uh, sage maker um, or s3 bucket and then um, in the ml ops part make sure to enable the enable direct deployment option so this really helps us um, directly deploy the model in the canvas itself so otherwise if it is disabled you won't be able to deploy the particular model so once you set up this particular user um, uh, you can just uh, click on um, next and go through the other process and just finish it so once you finish it um, you should be able to see your user profiles in the user profile section then after that um, we just have to manage a particular space so here you can um, just create a new space or uh, you can directly go to the um, canvas um, option on the right and here you can just choose the user profile you have just created for that particular um, canvas um, or domain so if you just click on open canvas it will just take you to this uh, particular screen um, so this is the canvas um, um, UI that Amazon provides that um, helps us train the models and deploy them as well. So here first what we have to do is that um, we can again load a particular um, CSV from the S3 bucket as well. Um, so because we have already um, have uh, uploaded that particular file um, we can just load it from there. But I also wanted to show you how we can do it manually um, as well. So if you just go to the import type and just import the tabular data and um, give a particular name and then just upload the data which you need um, onto this particular um, upload space and just click on preview the data set and uh, click ok so um, you should be able to see this particular um, file uploaded as well so once you upload this particular file um, what you have to make sure is that um, or there is there is no missing values in this particular data set um, again that we have checked but again it's better to check after loading the data points as well so once you load um, this particular data what you can do is that just create a uh, new model so if you go to the model section here um, you can create a new model so you can just give any name you want and select the predictive analysis part so if you select the predictive analysis part um, then uh, you will be taken to this particular screen so here um, if you see you can just select all the data sets um, you have uploaded so here because we want to go with um, our own data set we are going to select this one and click um, select data set so after selecting the data set it will show you all the columns names you have data type feature etc and again missing or mismatched values and how many unique values are there then uh, we are going to select the target column so in our case it is going to be um, the target value which we want to monitor that is nothing but the sales um, that has happened for um, each category uh, on a particular day and next what we have to do is that um, configure the particular model um, to train it so here we will have to um, uh, give to that particular model um, what is the unique id that identifies each row of data so here because we are going to have the each category um, there we are going to select that to be um, category and just click on save so this will again um, take uh, the unique value of um, cat item id uh, as categorical value and train then you can just click on this quick uh, build option where you can just train this particular data set, um, uh, model 
so um, after you train the model um, you should be able to see the uh, analyze part so in the analyze part you should be able to see the different metrics which we are um, actually uh, monitoring and um, here uh, because we went with a quick build we are only given um, one model um, that has been trained on it um, again if you go for a custom solution um, so you can uh, train multiple models and you can see all uh, uh, different models being ranked over here as well so these are all the metrics that we get after training the model now we can just um, use it to predict our particular model as well so if you go here um, so you can uh, uh, try out your prediction as well so you can just try it out with a single prediction um, select any particular item let us say books and then um, it will generate the prediction for you Now, um, after training the model, you can directly deploy them as well. So in order to deploy, you can just um, create a new deployment and select the deployment name, select the instance type you want to run and just uh, click on deploy. It will just deploy and it will give you just a deployment URL and the deployment name as well. Again, um, just make sure to um, note down this particular name as uh, it is important for us to run it in code. So after you deploy this particular model, um, we will just call that particular model. So in order to call that deploy model, uh, we are just going to um, open a new Boto3 client uh, to connect to AWS and then use that client to um, uh, check for runtime in the SageMaker. Then we uh, give the endpoint name. So that is the name which we have given to that particular deployed instance. Then we are going to pass on the data as text or csv because um, that's what um, our model is expecting it then um, what we are doing is that we are passing in the body so in the body um, so if you see we are just passing in the headers and the um, input so input is basically nothing but the uh, electronics which is nothing but the item id or the category and then the date for which we need the predictions for uh, or it's kind of the last date um, which we are uh, giving to that particular model and we are just encoding it in um, utf8 format and passing it as body and uh, we are again passing in an another parameter called as accept where the entire thing is going to go as a json formatted value so if you just um, run this piece of code you will get a response now in the response we can see uh, the all the different um, 30 day prediction which the model actually gets. So if you see here, it starts from 230802. Um, That's uh, the next day from this particular one. And for electronics, uh, what is going to be the sales um, uh, value? So the first value is going to be the um, P10 value or uh, at um, kind of the 10% probability value then uh, we have the 50% probability and at 90% confidence um, this is going to be the value and uh, the average of all the three uh, we are going to get it as um, a next column so these are all the predictions which we are going to get um, from the uh, model which we have just trained so if you see here um, this particular format is really useful for us to um, again uh, quickly um, train some particular models on a particular data train it deploy it um, in a production environment and just use it in code so this is how simple that entire process of um, training a model in SageMaker and deploying it is so um, that's all we are planned for this particular video to just give you a brief idea of how to set it up and run it in code as well so in the next video what we are going to do is that integrate this particular feature um, within an app and show you how you can really um, integrate this feature um, running in a full stack application um, where you can power the forecasting techniques uh, using ai so if you have any doubts, feel free to um, contact us at um, contact at there is codersearch.com or again, um, you can leave a comment on the video as well or else you can contact us through any of your socials as well uh, as we have mentioned in the description. Um, again, if you want to develop uh, such codes or need help with um, setting up AWS services um, that is particularly related to AI, so, um, such as um, AWS Forecast, um, SageMaker, uh, train your own models, set up the entire um, MLOps pipeline. Um, feel free to contact us. Um, we can develop um, MVP or proof of concept um, for you. 
and then we can just move it to a production scale application as well if required later so thank you and see you in the next video